so I am just finishing up painting my kitchen and I wanted to talk about these little things. This is an edger guide thingy. Let's see what the actual product is called. Um, this is a Premier XL 4 inch edger and replacement pads, all right. So anyway, this is a little doodad that's basically supposed to ride along the edge of your wall or your ceiling and um, basically create a perfectly 90 degree painted edge. And it does this by having these two little, uh, two little wheels on top that um, will ride the uh, you know perpendicular surface and the idea is that the wheels will ride it and the top of the uh, brush edge here will not quite touch the perpendicular edge so you won't leave tracks of paint you'll get a perfect straight line and life will be great well i'll tell you what these things suck um i've had well, I've had this one and I had a cheaper version that I got from the hardware store down the street and the cheaper version actually did a better job. Um, I don't like these things. Number one, because they have a tendency to get paint on the wheels. And of course, when the paint gets on the wheel, which then comes into contact with the surface that you don't want to paint, that just turns into a big problem. And yeah, um, I could be more careful with uh, slopping paint around and avoiding getting paint on the wheels. Well, I've been careful and it freaking happens anyway. So that's just life with these things. They just don't deliver on what they promise or at least suggest they do. Um, I'll tell you what I found now that I have pretty much painted my entire house is that it is worth getting, uh, getting acquainted with being able to cut in a line with a paintbrush. And yeah, it's not gonna work out great at first, um, but in the long run, getting good at it, taking your time, just learning the technique, will get you a lot further than spending a bunch of money to uh, you know, spend your way out of a uh, you know, technique problem on shit like that thing. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I've gone around my, most of my room already and fixed the line that that piece of crap screwed up in the first place. Um, see here, um, it kind of painted down onto my already beautifully painted blue wall. Um, over there, it did a much worse job. It had gotten tracks all over the blue from the wheels hitting the wall. And again, it just, it doesn't work out the way it's supposed to. So basically, this is what you do. You don't want a lot of paint on your brush, just like you never really want a whole lot of paint on your brush. You have, I have a two inch, you know, angled brush here for doing this kind of application. And what you wanna do is, I kind of start off just below the paint line and I work my way up to it. And you bring your brush up at an angle and you're not in any hurry, you just let that 90 degree corner be your guide. And lo and behold, it turns out pretty freaking good, doesn't it? Now, it didn't turn out that good the first time I tried it. In fact, I really sucked at this. And you know what, if you're a professional painter, I probably still suck at it. But um, I'm not a professional painter. I, uh, I'm just painting my house. I just like doing stuff for myself and, you know, figuring things out rather than trying to spend my way out of a problem, which is, you know, <laughs> not like it was a lot of money. I think that edge guide was like, what, five, six bucks, something like that. It wasn't a lot. Um, but it was me trying to avoid just building the skill to do this right. And um, lo and behold, it's really, it's not that hard. There's a little, a little speck, a little speck. Let's just hide that little speck. Um, yeah, learning how to cut in your 90 degree corners really isn't that hard. The hardest part, I believe, is where, not only where your wall and your ceiling intersect, it's where the wall and the adjoining wall and the ceiling intersect. So you've got this, you know, 3D corner to deal with. Um, I haven't really, I don't know that I have a lot of good information on how to handle this other than be delicate, you know, I kind of push my, my brush up in there at an angle and just 
do exactly what I talked about before. You kind of let the corner guide the brush, okay? And lo and behold, it looks pretty damn good. I don't mean to toot my own horn here, but um, yeah, I will uh, never spend another dime on one of those stupid guides again. I've tried things in the past too, where I've tried to use like a, uh, a wide putty knife as a straight edge to uh, keep myself from uh, getting paint up on the ceiling. It's just a matter of angles. It's really, it's not that complicated. Just spend the time if you have to, start somewhere that's not gonna be noticeable and practice. That's, that's really all this stuff takes. Um, you don't have to be a seasoned expert to do it right. It takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of desire to, um, you know, do it right and learn a new skill. That's what it's all about. So, all right, that's all I got for you today. Um, this is freaking tedious, so I won't make you watch me do it. I'm going to put some uh, podcast in my ear holes and finish the room. So, all right, catch you later.